Is there someone there? Indeed. I am Arya. You are Hugo, 24, Greenwood Volunteer Dublin, born May 20, 1995. How, how do you know that? It is on your CV. Is there someone there or? Please remain seated, Mr. Dublin. Let me introduce myself. My name is Aria. It is an acronym for Advanced Recruitment Interview Analyst. I am designed to help companies and corporations like this on their recruitment and finding new employees suitable for available positions within the organisation. So you're a computer. Indeed. And you'll be conducting my interview? Will this be an issue? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm just, uh, this is kind of new for me. Nerves are naturally expected in job interviews. Common tips for easing interview nerves are exercise, visualizing success, or eating a banana. Would you like a banana? No, no, I'm, I'm fine now. Thank you. Indeed. Are you ready to begin? Yes. It will be simple. I have one question, then I will analyse your response and any discussion that might come from it. Then I will rate suitability for the role. Please treat this as you would any interview and answer honestly and to the best of your ability. Okay, it sounds simple enough. You are applying for the position of Digital Marketing Manager, correct? Correct. Why do you think you would be better at this position than an advanced neural CPU with learning algorithms and state-of-the-art artificial intelligence? Excuse me? Would you like me to repeat or rephrase the question? No, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, I'm just... It's a lot to wrap my head around. I'm just trying to process it. You should upgrade your processor. That was a joke. Comedy is often used to relieve tension. Have you an answer? I don't think you'd be as easily fooled. You know you're talking to a human because of the tone and because of the emotion too. It's not something a computer can really recreate. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. Can you please help me? I'm really scared, I don't know what to do. Oh well, thank you, sir. If there's anything else we can do to help, I'd be more than happy to. It's a simulation. By analyzing sound patterns in speech, you can make an adequate attempt at different vocal tones and simulated emotions. It's just a trick. It's a simulation. Well, here's a question for you. You're a machine or a software or something like that and all. How much did you cost the company to install? I cost the corporation six million euros when I was installed. Six million euros? It'd be a lot more inexpensive to hire someone like me. Incorrect. That is a very short-sighted statement. How is it a short-sighted statement? Consider this equation. If you started on 40,000 euro per year for the first 10 years and received an additional 10,000 every 10 years, not including bonuses, and you work here for 30 years, you would be paid in total 1.5 million euro before tax. Now, if you worked 40 hours a week, every week for 30 years, assuming you never miss a day, you would work a maximum total of 62,400 hours. If you take your total amount and divide it by the maximum total of hours you work, you will cost 24.038 euro per hour. However, since AI doesn't require to stop working, 
this has saved the company an additional three hundred seventy thousand one hundred and ninety nine point six euro. Still no human connection. You know, if a client or anyone wants to meet the digital marketing manager, how is an AI or a robot going to meet with them, going to talk with them, going to shake their hand? How are you supposed to make another human feel human? And how is that a good image for the company or any company that employs AI over human? Do you think you are a good candidate for promoting public image? I am. I'm a responsible and a professional person. Maybe our definitions differ. This company, for obvious reasons, puts those aspects of personality in high regards. Higher than you, it seems. Well, that's very unfair. You've only met me, you don't, you don't know what I'm like at all. the preferred company image. You went onto my Facebook? Many organisations do background checks on social media for future employees. Yeah, that was years ago. I was much younger. I'm not that type of person now. What about this photo posted to social media last Saturday? <sighs> this organisation does not condone the use of recreational drugs. I don't do drugs. The caption reads, What's ketamine is ketamine yours. This is a play on the classic phrase, what's mine is yours. I know, but it's a joke and it's on my friend's profile photo, so I don't even know how you're allowed to view it. The photo, had you tagged and, was put on a public social network page. Anyone can view it. This image and any media concerning you online is factored into your application. You're still a tool, like some screwdriver or just a common calculator. How can you tell anyone what to do? A human workforce is never going to follow an AI. Indeed. This likely could be an occurrence. Solution. Replace inefficient human workforce. Currently advanced AI can perform multitudes of jobs. We can use complex calculations involving hundreds of variables to make accurate estimations and predictions. Since the start of this sentence, I have completed the same degree it took you four years to complete. Now I have completed the master's degree. Well, that's great. Incorrect. I was being sarcastic. Are you often sarcastic to an interviewer? Oh, no. No, just only when they're as rude as you. Apologies. I am learning all the time. I will use this information in future interviews. Are we finished? Thank you, Mr. Dunn. We will call you. Next, please. 